All right, so <laughs> I just recorded this and I'm not going to stop it again, but I turned my mic down. So we're just going to go ahead and go right into it. So 12 year olds right now are being taught about having intimacy in school with not, and nine year olds are being taught how to touch themselves for homework. The, the shocking lesson plans used by teachers in the UK classroom. So school teachers are being taught about um, intimacy and climax before they have reached puberty and set um, touching themselves as homework. Secretive lessons plans revealed. Many teachers are indoctrinating their children with scientifically false claims about the biological sex uh, presenting gender as fluid and furthering a narrative that people can be born in the wrong body. I'm trying to not get all the words in there. Not We have to get a few minutes in until we can actually talk about it. Because, you know, YouTube has a, you know, whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> Mail, on, uh, Mail Online has been found, um, has found graphic teaching material, including a sex manual, for teens being taught to children in the classes around the UK. And so people always want to talk about how this kind of stuff isn't actually happening. This kind of stuff is, um, we're making this up. We're being extreme. But tell me, what is the purpose of teachers teaching that? Because they try to do that over here in America too. There, there was books over here that are very explicit, but people just want to act like it doesn't exist. Can you tell me a good reason why a teacher would want to keep that away from the parents? Because they know it's sick. Because they know the parents are being in an uproar. But for some reason, I don't know if these teachers don't have their own children or what's going on, but sometimes these teachers feel like they have the all, end all be all. They feel like they become the, um, they really know these children better than the parents do when they really don't. And I, I understand because I have worked in that setting for a very long time in my life. So I understand how sometimes you can feel like, you know, you're more involved in the kid's life than the parents are, but you're really not at the end of the day. The kids are, are supposed to be spending more time with their parents than anything. Now, a lot of stuff comes in when there's extra, extracurricular activities and there's stuff going on. you got football practice, basketball practice, band, chess, whatever going on. So the kids aren't seeing their parents as often. And that becomes a very dangerous thing because then the parents are only seeing their kids maybe at night, right before bed, and everything that the kid is getting taught is either by other children or is getting taught by the teachers. And so the teachers feel like they have all this power. That's some of the reasons that's that is one of the downfalls of public schooling is that because the kids have to be there so long and parents still have to work and all that kind of stuff and kids are going to all this other stuff by the time they get home the parents don't really have a whole lot of time to teach them things and so and i can't blame every parent for not having every waking moment to be able to um teach their kids you know it is a real sacrifice and i can't ex I, I just gotta be honest i can't expect every every parent to make the perfect life for every kid especially if they may be down on their luck and maybe they just lost their job or they're really trying to pay the bills so sometimes they have to work two jobs just to keep the house afloat so they're doing their very best but they can't be around their kid as much as they would like it just happens to people sometimes so it sucks because you got teachers out here who are malicious and will do this stuff against their children look at you despite a uh it followed the concern of a uh, mother being denied the right to see the content of the lesson plans being taught to her 15-year-old daughter in relationships in uh, sex education classes, which became co compulsory, compulsory three years ago. Despite a judge refusing Claire Page the right to see the material, Mail Online can reveal that a wealth of questionable teaching resources are, avail are already available online. Coloring books, word searches, and cartoon drawings have also been given to young girls and boys by activist teachers in their over- arching mission to sexualize children in the name of an inclusion of an inclusion okay so i just want to let you know guys the stuff that i'm about to show you you so if you are having you kind of read down there a little bit but some of the images are going to be pretty tough and this is, should spark outrage in you as well this should not be something you're like you know what we're just going to skip past it we don't really care um it's okay i know once you see this guys you're going to be like wow there's no way there truly is a way you really need to check what your schools are teaching your children at all times if you're if your kid comes home and asks you any kind of question you need to go straight to the teachers and be like hey i just curious uh why is my kid asking me about periods why, why is my kid asking me about sex why is my kid asking me about masturbation or erections what where, where is that coming from is he getting that from the kids or are y'all teaching things you know first you ask your kid these questions see where it's coming from and then if the kid says something like oh my teacher taught me you need to be right up there hey i just need to have a quick conversation with you and if that gets done straight to the principal can't get nothing done superintendent can't get it done news station police whatever you need to go to okay whatever you feel like <laughs> if you ain't being hurt you go to the school board you do what you got to do okay prepare yourself all right so <clears throat> Mail online can reveal that some children are being taught from birth 
until the age of one, babies can experience. Mm, 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 mm. Try to hold your food down, people. Babies can experience pleasurable sensations by touching their genital. All right, let's get through this. I got it. <clears throat> Talk to uh, birth that that from birth until the age of one, babies can experience uh, pleasurable sensations by touching their genitals, giving ways for 12 year old girls to orgasm while masturbating, including pinching and stroking their the clitoris. Given masturbation homework from a pre compulsory um, RSE resource, which is sex education classes, told that girls as uh, told sorry told that girls as young as 12 can find sexual pleasure from anal, vaginal, and oral sex. Taught that it's normal to want to masturbate during and even before they hit puberty. Informed that it's normal to for pre pubescent children to be sexually attracted to anyone told that gender is different from sex but is much more interesting part of who a person is and taught that people can change their sex from being a man to a, being a woman also taught that some non-binary humans are neither men or nor women and taught that men with male y chromosomes can actually be women mm, 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 mm. So here's some of the stuff that's right here. See, look, topic four, sex, gender, and trans identity. Why is it important that we learn about sex? So you see here, Tom is transiting, transitioning. He used, to be, he used to use the female toilets at the school, but since establishing himself as a male, he has decided to enter the boys for the first time. Just as he enters two older guys and they shout, what are you doing in here? Get out, freak. This took a lot of courage, but Tom feels scared. So this is just kind of some of the stuff that's going over. <laughs> Here's the learning outcomes. Correctly identify. You see how they do the color coding too. Uh, correctly identify the difference between sex and gender, and what makes a person trans. Describe your opinions on gendering. Explain the meaning of new key terminology and how to use pronouns correctly. Here's some of the stuff. And so here are some of the graphic images that we were talking about. Um, so as a reward-winning uh, teaching packet for the children as young as nine who have learning disabilities created before RSA was mandatory with similarly graphic. One of the lessons played, oh my gosh, y'all just see it, we'll, we'll get past that. But that's pretty much showing that um, these resources are from a lesson plan to children as young as nine. In the lesson plans, the images are not blurred and show a boy and girl masturbating. The boy is shown as he is in the middle of ejaculating and while the naked girl is seen touching herself while closing her eyes, opening her mouth. Guys, does it get does it get more open to y'all than that? Y'all can't say that this is not evil. This is a drawing of children masturbating. Nine year olds. Nine. You got adults teaching this to young children. You help me make sense of that. Because I don't get it. I get it, but I don't get how people can even turn even closer. I, we we already read that the parents were outraged. I just don't understand how the teachers can do this and not be labeled pedophiles. I'm sorry. There's just no way around that. They have to be labeled what they are. Because if we keep trying to protect people's feelings, it doesn't help. I'm not saying, I am not saying that... <sighs> In every instance, I'm not saying we have to be completely destructive and demeaning and all these kind of stuff. But when it comes to the kids and you see people teaching this stuff, I'm sorry, there's not a whole lot of nice words we can say. There's not a whole lot of, well, Mr. Johnson, maybe we, no, it needs to be Mr. Johnson, you're gone, goodbye, you're fired. Uh, we better not see your face around here again, ever. I'm going to give you the chance to go live your life doing something else. But if we catch you ever doing this kind of stuff again, you're done. You're done. Because I don't see any good intentions with this. Why would you want to literally sit kids down and have them look at other children masturbating? What purpose do you have in teaching a child to masturbate? And, you know, obviously I'm going to come from the more moral side. You know, touching yourself and all this stuff is not meant to be. Masturbating is not meant to be. As much as people will teach you masturbating is a good thing, it is not. It only comes with more depression and it only leaves you more lonely. The more you masturbate, the more you're going to look at stuff that makes you want to masturbate. And the more you do that stuff, the more your mental health is going to start falling after a while. It is. Sex is supposed to be between you and your spouse. And that is it. Even masturbating within the marriage becomes problematic. 
You may not agree with me on that, and that's fine. But we both can agree that masturbating, especially as a child and being taught these things, is sick. And it shouldn't be taught. Kids should be learning about growing up and learning about life. Okay? And I don't, you know, even some people be like, you know, maybe they need to learn about, they need, they should be learning about math and science. And yes, that's all good and grand. But at the same time, life is not all about school when children are children. It's not all about school, clearly. We are seeing our kids getting taught to transition. We are seeing our kids to get taught to hate America. We are getting our kids to be taught how to do stuff to themselves and do stuff to others. Some of these kids are getting groomed. So there has to be something outside of life besides math and biology. But that is all the teachers need to be teaching. Teachers, you stick to the math and biology. Us parents will be doing a lot more of teaching the sex and all that kind of stuff should we choose to do so. Most of us will probably wait until they're much, much older. But... You leave that to us. That is our job. Your job is to teach math and biology. Okay, that is not all their life will ever be about. There are more important lessons that need to be taught, but it's not going to be taught by you. Let's just finish this off. Ooh, man, I have a light right in front of me. So when I'm talking, I have to look right into this bright light. I'll probably figure that out. I'll probably end up moving my camera over here so the light's not right in my face. Okay, this is Zoe. Zoe is non-binary, which means they are neither boy uh, or girl. And they have a color me in. How sick is that? You have a coloring for the children. Okay, here's the section about masturbation. Being taught to the children, let's just go ahead. Masturbation can be, can be defined as touching, rubbing, or stroking your, uh, your own sexual organs for pleasure. You can also do this to someone else. How are you teaching that? To if you and your partner do this, to each other, this is known as mutual masturbation. Masturbation is often seen as a taboo subject and is not talked about often in families or in RSE because it should not be. As a result, young people can feel there is something wrong with them if they masturbate. The activities in this section are designed to prompt discussion about the subject and clarify masturbation itself. See, they want to say masturbation is healthy, normal, and enjoyable practice. See, there is never any fine lines when it comes to sex. It's always everything is healthy and natural and normal, no matter what it is. When you teach about sex, oh, don't worry. You should have sex with as many people as you want because it's natural, healthy, and normal. Oh, you want to have anal sex? It doesn't matter because it's natural, healthy, and normal. Oh, you want to do this? You want to do that? Doesn't matter. It's natural, healthy, and no, it's not. Not everything is supposed to be just this wide open spectrum. Of no matter what it is, no matter what it is, everybody always wants to call it normal, healthy, and normal. BDSM, no, no, normal, healthy, and enjoyable. Is that what they're using? Healthy, normal, and enjoyable. Oh, SMS. Or oh, SM, sorry. Healthy, normal, and enjoyable. It's like no matter what it comes to sex, whether that's harm, whether that's masochism, whether that's sadism, whether that's uh, whether that's anal, whether that's oral, whether that's just regular sex, whether it's gay sex, whether it's transgender sex, no matter what it is, when it comes to sex, all of it is healthy, normal, and enjoyable. There are no boundaries, and we don't even teach ourselves boundaries with that. I understand that everybody believes the same thing about sex. That's fine, but why can't we have those discussion in the bedroom? There needs to be some lines drawn. I just don't feel like everything is permittable. Everything shouldn't be permissible where everything is okay from every kink to acting like a little dog to acting like a cat to toddler sex. Yes, the people who act like toddlers and make it sexual. There needs to be some lines and some healthy mental things. It can't be whatever you think in your mind is automatically healthy and normal because it's not. In fact, there was an article the other day where a mother, a transgender mother, so a biological man who calls himself a mother, said that he got off to breastfeeding his child. He got off to breastfeeding his child, but he would say that's what? Healthy, normal, and enjoyable. Where do we draw the line? We have to. We cannot just open the floodgates because this is the kind of stuff that's going to keep going on. Uh, I don't see anything else that I really want to go over. Oh, this last part here. Sex is biological. Gender is uh, socially constructed. The aggressive movement is mixing the two. It's dangerous. Has the world gone mad? I think it is psychologically damaging, and it can be physically damaging for a person to be told they they are or the, op the opposite sex. We have a duty to protect our children. How can we if we don't know what they're being taught? The Family Education Trust Lucy March told male online activist teachers were on a path to 
rip children from their families. That is absolutely true. It has been like that for a while now, that the whole purpose is to eventually rip the families apart. We got one more part in here. Once again, guys, this is going to be a little bit graphic, and I promise I won't show you guys any more, okay? It's just absolutely ridiculous, okay? Um, maybe I won't show you all of it. I'll just show you the top part, but I will tell you it is quite graphic, okay? Uh, ba -ba. So this is, uh, this is coming out of Vagina Matters. It is the top teaching resource uh, on sexual health charity books, the website. The book pictured is aimed at 12 to 14 year olds and cover sex masturbation orgasm. So you see the picture of this girl. So below this picture is a, a, a picture of a girl's breast and we'll keep going up cause I see some stuff on the side there. There's a picture of a girl's breast, booty naked. There's a picture of her butt and there's a picture of her vagina. These are all drawings, all drawings. Okay. So there's a picture of their breast, picture of their vagina and a picture of their butt. Okay all showing this to 12 to 14 year olds and talking about an orgasm and we don't even need to read that okay we, we all know what that is if we're all adults here okay i just they want our children guys they're always going to want our children we at some point we've got to sit back and ask ourselves is it truly worth it to keep our eyes closed and stay blind or can we just take a couple seconds out of our day to realize that our children are being attacked every single day and that we are going to have to make change? We have to. Because if we choose to continue not making change, they're going to come after our children. And then there'll be not much we can do. Because we can't wait till it's too late. And I'm so glad for these teachers and these moms and everything for stepping up. Because that's what we truly need. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys later. Peace.